In this golf swing lesson, I'm going to teach you how to instantly stop coming over the top in your golf swing with one simple golf tip. When I was younger and starting golf, I used to struggle with coming over the top in my golf swing for years. Pulls, slices, lack of distance with both irons and driver. But this simple golf tip is going to focus on one part of our body which will transform how you move that club in the downswing. And it's our trail shoulder and how it internally or externally rotates. So internally rotating would be this way. Externally rotating would be this way. Now, quick side note, some people down that lens watching might not have the ability to get their shoulder into external rotation because of flexibility and poor movement. So a little quick test for you is stand shoulder width apart, arms, biceps parallel to the floor and forearms pointing to the ceiling. If you can move your arms backwards, this is externally rotating. Okay, and if you're able to do that, then crack on and use this simple golf drill. Some people might not even be able to point there are forearms to the ceiling and you're going to be struggling if you can't do that. Maybe a physio or some gym work help loosen those shoulders up a bit might help you more. So coming over the top in your goal swings, the patterns that we see with people that come over the top is having internal shoulder rotation, trail shoulder this way. And that can occur in the backswing, in the downswing and Again, we're going to completely get rid of it. So people might start their backswings like this and get internally rotated early on. You might see separation of the elbows. You might see a nice backswing. And then as you start to put forces in that shaft on the downswing, you get it happening on the way down. Either way, if you're coming over the top in your golf swings, you're probably going to be internally rotating this trail shoulder. Internal shoulder rotation also leads to that steepening of the shaft. If I start to internally rotate, look what happens. If I tend to externally rotate, we get the opposite, that shallowing of the shaft, which so many of you down that lens are after, rather than internally rotating, steepening, cutting across the golf ball, hitting those pulls, hitting those slices, and losing that distance. So what's the simple golf tip to help you stop coming over the top in your golf swings and get that external rotation? All you need is a little ball. You can get a little ball from anywhere, your local supermarket, toy store, whatever, as long as it's small, squidgy, and can go in between your forearms. This one's actually Martin Chuck's Tour Striker Smart Ball. He sent me this years ago and um, it's quite good because it's got this little strap that you can put over your head. And if you do struggle with internal rotation, you're probably going to drop the ball a lot. So instead of picking it up off the floor all the time, it's just attached to your body and your head so you don't have to keep picking it up. Lovely. So what's this ball going to help you achieve? Once you've popped it in between your forearms, grab the club like you normally do, set yourself up and you'll begin to work out where your shoulder starts to go into internal rotation if you are struggling with coming over the top in your golf swings. So like I said before, internal rotation of the trail shoulder can happen in your back swings and that ball falls out. Pop it in your forearms again. If you have a nice back swing, but as soon as you apply some force in that downswing, those elbows start to separate you get internal rotation, that club steepening, that ball falls out again. What I want you to try and achieve, ball in between your forearms, set yourself up like you normally do. Swing up to the top, and as you start your downswings, I want you to feel like you're gonna squeeze this ball. And look what happens to my shaft. We start to get this shallowing motion rather than that over the top separation of the elbows. We get those elbows crunching closer together. That shaft starts to shallow in the downswing. It starts to become more behind you. You can start to throw that club out in front of you, helping you strike your irons pure and send that driver even further down those fairways. Little warding for some people down that lens. Now, if you try this drill and you start to hit it further right, higher, shorter, 
stop immediately. You guys need to go and check your grips out. You might have a weak grip. You might need to go and check your wrist angles out. You might have poor wrist angles in your swing. You don't want to start externally rotating your shoulder, getting that club shallowing, because you're gonna start hitting it further and further right. So stop check those two things and then come back. If you do have a good grip and good wrist angles though, this is the perfect golf drill for you. And you can hit balls with it, pop the ball in between your forearms, set yourself up that you're gonna hit a shot. Try and keep that ball in between your forearms up to the top of your back swings and in your down swings. It might fall up as you finish but that's absolutely fine. And start off by chipping a few forward. Swing half swings whichever you feel most comfortable with chip a few forwards make sure you're keeping that in between your forearms then build it up into a full swing this drill should instantly help you stop coming over the top in your goal swing build it up to a full swing squeeze that ball on your down swings and get that club shallowing out lovely strike green just hit is that on or not ah might have just missed but a decent strike and again this can be used for iron and driver so build it up half swings three quarter swings full swings with an iron and then get to your woods and your driver this golf drill resonates with so many golfers struggling with swinging over the top get that shoulder externally rotating rather than internally and you'll completely get rid of that over the top golf swing. That one's definitely on. Let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to know if this drill helps. And if you're new to the channel, hello and welcome, even though it's the end of the video. Returning viewers, hello again. Little reminder, if you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you hit that big red subscribe button. Hit the like button as, that was a bell sign. Hit the, <laughs> hit the like button as it helps the channel and turn the bell on so you get notified of when I upload all my new videos. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.